Okay, now that we got a cluster going with the cluster wizard, let's make it more interesting by adding some messages to transmit besides the startup frames. So I'll go to my messages editor. That's available from uh, Spy Network's messages editor. Then I select transmit. I'll go ahead and add a frame and I'll set up its slot ID. So it says slot IDs greater than three are dynamic. I'll pick B just to be arbitrary and then I'll select node one. So this particular message will be entered into the communication controller of node one. And then I'll add some signals and now that I've got my setup, I'm going to actually copy this to our receive table so the signals will be decoded. Um, here I'll go online, view messages, and then I'll hit run. And then you'll see there's no frame here. That's because it's dynamic. We actually have to send it out. So I'll come over here and select my transmit panel, and I'll go ahead and click this. And you can see that I got a frame here that has four signals and it's a dynamic frame. We can actually see the column for dynamic. There's a Y, meaning yes, it's a dynamic frame. Um, first, I want to get rid of the data section underneath, so I'm going to unclick expand. And we can see our flex ray frame goes out every time we send it. So I'm just going to go ahead and send this every 50 milliseconds. And the data section isn't very interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and make these signal values do something. So I'll select random, and you can see now we have random bytes. So let's have some fun. So we'll want to plot the signal. And I'll move this over here. And then Actually, I'll move it over here, and then I'll just put on some more signals there by dragging and dropping them from the messages view. And let's do something with a sine wave here, and maybe a triangle wave, and then a, a ramp. And you can see now our signals are coming out in a plot. So that was very easy to add a transmit message, a dynamic transmit message to my cycle. Another thing that's interesting is the cycles view. And if you look, you'll actually see the dynamic segment messages going by in the cycles view.